The captain has been eaten by an alien bug. They're starting to swarm and attack the ship. We've got to work together if we want to get off of this dangerous planet because the captain is dead. Dangerous planet. Hey guys, and thanks for joining us at Hit From House Studio 3. I'm Will Meadows. And I'm Sarah Meadows, and today we're reviewing the game The Captain is Dead, Dangerous Planet. This is from AEG and designers J.T. Smith and Jamie Vervinsky. It's for two to seven players. It takes about 30 to 45 minutes to play. AEG sent us a copy to take a look at, so let's check out how it's played. To set up the game, place the shuttle board at one end of the table and place the system cards on the online side. Construct the alert deck and place out the relics and markers. Construct the tunnel tiles in branching networks. Let each player choose a roll. Place three skill cards face up and then deal five to each player and everyone discards one. Draw and resolve five alert cards and then you're ready to begin the game. On their turn, players take as many actions as their roll allows. They may do things like move, kill bugs, or most importantly, find and retrieve artifacts. Once a player uses their actions, any devices are activated, killing bugs in their path. Bugs along the tunnels move towards the shuttle, and then the next alert card is resolved. Play continues around the table as players try to keep the bugs at bay while trying to retrieve enough artifacts to unlock the alien tech before being swarmed by the alien bugs. If the team is able to survive and collect enough artifacts, they escape and win the game. And then we'll probably elect a new captain, which I don't want to be that guy in this Me game. Either. <laughs> because in their history of games, the captain doesn't do very well. Uh, this is the third addition, or maybe fourth, because there's an additional expansion in there, uh, to the Captain is Dead line of games where the captain is dead on the ship and you have to figure out how to survive without him and then the aliens take over and you got to figure out how to escape without him and now we're on a planet and it's swarming with bugs uh in this game they've introduced a very different mechanic mm -hmm. in that you've got these tunnels that you're trying to explore and they're incredibly random which can make the game either it's in our experience really easy because you get exactly what you need really fast or that one relic that you've been looking for everywhere is at the very end of your longest tunnel making it nearly impossible to win the game. <laughs> uh, in the game, there is a wide range of players, roles that you can take um, just like the other one. So that is a very familiar thing. It does introduce something new. It has devices that you can use to place it on the board to try and help uh, keep those aliens at bay. Um, but if anything happens to any of those devices, you lose them forever. You don't ever gain them back um, to use later. So you have to be careful with how you use them, where you place them, so that you don't end up getting them destroyed. Yeah, a big part of this game is that tower defense mechanism and trying to figure out which tunnel is going to be sending the worst bad guys your way so you can stick out that sweet rail gun and blast them away at eight spaces from where you plant the gun. Uh, in the game, you are working as a team again. You do have have uh, if your character dies you can switch to another one so there's not really player elimination still very similar mechanics to the previous ones but the big thing in this one is that pickup and delivery with the tower defense mechanism built in pretty neat yeah and it gets really difficult to um, not focus on killing off the swarms you don't win the game by killing more bugs you win the game by collecting the artifacts and a lot of times uh, it comes down to maybe we just need to let this player die in this tunnel and or just have them be injured while we go pick up these last five artifacts to win the game. Uh, it comes down to decisions like that, uh, especially towards the end, or if you're not doing well at the beginning. <laughs> we had one game that we lost very quickly because we... In, we just used a poor strategy. Yeah, well, we revealed the tunnel that had them spawning right up at the front, and we just didn't have any way of stopping them. That is probably the only downside to the game, is that you can pretty much see your doom coming, because you'll realize, like, all of our people are on the three left wings, and the fourth one is coming fast. We just don't even have time to be able to get over there to stop them. Uh, you do have some cool options on the computer where you can, like, teleport people or change... Uh, resources with each other and so keeping the computer up is important to the game trying to having to make some of those really costly decisions 
Teleporting causes the bugs to advance faster and causes you a health, but maybe it's the only way to keep your team alive, as she said. So yeah, some interesting nail biter situations for sure. Yeah, this one, there is no way to destroy the nests where the bugs are spawning. And so they will just keep coming. Um, one other thing in the game is that you do have relic cards that once you've gained enough um, artifacts, you will gain some bonuses to help you out because you are progressing in the game. That is one way to mitigate some of the things that are happening in the game that are going to be hurting you as you move along. Yeah, lots of good options, lots of different things going on in the game. Pretty different experience every time because of the way the tiles roll out and because you've got so many different characters, a good amount of replayability as well. If it's sounds like something you would be interested in then definitely check out the captain is dead dangerous planet from aeg and then be sure to give us your comments and thoughts have you played it did you like the other ones are you interested we'll look forward to chatting with you soon thanks so much for joining us this time got it man don't want to be that captain he is unlucky it's killed okay let's start with that because that's crazy okay no vowels. Wow. I don't know how you say that. No vowels in your last name. Verbsky. Verbsky.